Hello folks, Andrew here at Chatfield. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a quick overview of how to connect your Chatfield bot to Facebook ads, which is obviously extremely useful if you're running any sort of ad campaigns. Now, keep in mind, this isn't gonna be a step-by-step -step overview of how to use Facebook ads. It's just gonna be how to connect your bot to ads in general. So that being said, once we're logged into Ads Manager here, let's click the Create button and choose our consideration here, our objective in other words. Do we wanna run traffic or messages? I'm gonna choose messages in this case, but you can split test with traffic to see what performs best. And then for the ad type, make sure it's selected by default to click to messenger. You can obviously set up your audience targeting as well based on location, age, gender, language, interest, behavior, et cetera. Again, I'm gonna gloss over this for now because that's a whole nother video lesson, but you can also use a saved or custom audience or even a lookalike audience that you export from Chatfield. You can do that from the people tab here. So say for example, that you want to engage users who haven't interacted recently with your bot, they're outside of that promotional window where you can send them messages. What you could do in Chatfield is choose the attribute uh, 24 hour window within 24 hour window. And if that is set to no, you can filter all of those users out, click export and then use them as a custom audience audience when you're running these ads so you can re-engage them and reactivate them in chat fuel. So anyway, I'm going to skip over this and just do very general targeting. And for placements, we're going to want to click edit here. And you can keep Instagram selected, but I would recommend deselecting it or at least split testing because the issue here is that if you're running messenger ads on Instagram, yes, it works. But if somebody clicks that call to action button in their Instagram newsfeed and then they get the Instagram app closed, they get redirected back to Messenger. It's just a very poor user experience in my opinion, so I would recommend unchecking that. And then I will completely skip over budget, that's totally up to you, and again, another lesson in and of itself. Then, this is very important, so by default, one of your Facebook pages will be selected, and this might seem obvious, but a lot of people overlook it. So make sure that when you're running these Messenger ads to your bot, you're running it from the same Facebook page that the bot is connected to. What do I mean by that? Right here, you can see that it's connected to the Andrew Demeter page. I have this you know, white headshot as the profile photo. Now in Chatfuel, this is the bot that I wanna run the ad from, or run the ad to. Notice here it's from the Andrews demo bot page and it has this different profile picture. So basically, long story short, we wanna make these two congruent. So to do that, I'm gonna select the Andrews demo bot here. And then obviously we have the different formats. Let's just choose single image for simplicity. I'll use a free stock photo here. Let's say this one looks good. And once that loads here in a second, we'll get a preview of what this ad will look like in the newsfeed. Obviously you can change the copy, imagery, call to action, et cetera. But the key here is the messenger setup at the very bottom. By default, it'll be on create your own welcome experience. That's what we want. And then we'll change it to custom template right here. So click get started. Now what this will allow us to do, and I'll give you a brief overview to give you some context before I show you how this is done. So when the user that we're targeting sees that ad in their newsfeed, they're gonna click that send message call to action button. Once they do that, it's going to send them a message right here, this welcome message that Facebook forces us to set up. We can't send them directly to a chat field block because Facebook wants us to basically opt them in twice, say, you know, yes, you clicked on the newsfeed ad, but we also wanna make sure that you wanna subscribe to this bot. So this is where this message comes in. And then once they click a button here or make a decision, they manually respond, then they can become a subscriber in chat field and we can send them directly to a block where you can use much more rich content instead of just text and images. You can use different logic, you can use APIs, tag them with different attributes for future retargeting, etc. So how does this work? Basically, let's say in this case that we are a restaurant, we're promoting a free appetizer as a lead magnet. So let's say that we mention that in the Facebook ad. Once they click that call to action button, we're going to greet them in Messenger. We say, hi, Andrew, um, uh, would you like to claim the offer? Or we could say free appetizer, whatever the case might be. And then, so that'll be the initial message they receive. And then for the buttons associated with that, we wanna give them options. So once they click that, they become a subscriber. We redirect them to a chat field block. So I'm gonna remove these frequently asked questions here. I wouldn't recommend using that. And then we'll add a button, or we could also use quick replies. But let's add buttons here for simplicity. And then basically in chat field, the setup is we have this promo appetizer group for the ads that we're running. And we have two options. We're gonna say, are you interested? Yes or no. If they're interested, we're going to send them to this block. We're gonna tag them saying, hey, they claim this offer. That's something they're interested in. 
and we're going to give them this coupon code. If they're not interested, we're going to say they're not interested, and we could say something like, uh, no problem. So something simple like that, right? Basically, at the end of the day, we're tagging them for future messaging, retargeting, all that data is great. So then in the ads manager here, let's add a label for the two button options. We'll say, uh, you know, yes, please is the top one. And then we'll add another button that says no thanks. And for the action, instead of open a website, we want to make it send a post back. And we'll do the same for this. And for the code here, for the bot payload, it's very simple to set up. So we'll type in block name, all lowercase, this is case sensitive. And then we'll just copy and paste the name of the block that we want to send them to based on what button they click. So we'll paste claimed here. And then for this one, I'll paste this and we'll do not interested. Again, it is case sensitive, so that's very important. Cool. So now we can see the message preview here. They click on that ad in their newsfeed. It sends them here. It says, hi, greets them by their first name. Would you like to claim the offer? Yes, please, or no thanks. Then based on what they decide, it'll send them to those respective blocks. Now let's preview this in Messenger and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So again, this to give context is after I click the ad, I'll say, yes, I do want to claim that offer for the free appetizer. And then it says, okay, here's the coupon code. Of course, we could be more creative at images, videos, et cetera. Um, but that's basically how this works. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. And other than that, happy bot building.